An Introduction to G10 1600 Immunofluorescence Quantitative Analyzer. Welcome to use G10 1600 Immunofluorescence Quantitative Analyzer. G10 1600 Immunofluorescence Quantitative Analyzer is designed to provide professional healthcare personnel with point of care testing that meets laboratory quality control requirements. Utilizing advanced technology, G10 1600 provides a simple, fast, and reliable solution to early detection of disease and continuous monitoring of patients. Contents Part 1 Unpack G10 1600 Part 2 Installation of G10 1600 Part 3 G10 1600 Operation of Regent Kits Part 4 QC Calibration Part 1 Unpack G10 1600 Check the instrument and accessories. Refer to the packing list. G10 1600 employs an automatic testing system, which could automatically run the tests without too much human intervention. The instrument has three loading ports for strip holders, and each holder contains either 48 or 24 sample cartridges. Samples could be loaded at the same time, or in succession, and could be tested for multiple items. The emergency mode permits the instrument to stop the auto-running mode to allow emergency samples to be tested instantly. On the front of the instrument are touch screen, sample chamber, and waste tip chamber. On the left side are thermal printer, waste storage for cleaning solution, exit port for used test strips, and waste container. On the rear end are power cable socket. On the right, our power switch, USB port for system upgrade, Ethernet port, and RS-232 port for Liz His system connection are on the right of the instrument. Part 2. Installation of G10 1600. Place G10 1600 horizontally on an experimental table and ensure that the instrument is 50 centimeters away from the wall for enough working space. Avoid placing the instrument where it may be exposed to dust, water, direct sunlight, electromagnetic radiation, or mechanical vibration. Open the sample chamber and cut out the plastic string which is used to tie the mechanical arm. Then use a hexagon wrench to unscrew the screw on the arm retention from its right side. Connect the plug to analyzer and power cable to the outlet. Flick on both sides of the printing paper and load it in the printer with the carbon sensitive side face down. To dispense cleaning liquid, you need to take out the cleaning liquid bottle from the storage zone. And pour the cleaning solution in it. Then fill the bottle with deionized water and mix it. Finally, Put the bottle back into the storage zone. Part 3 G10 1600 Operation of Regent Kits G10 1600 Immunofluorescence Quantitative Analyzer is supposed to use with the matched reagent kits human samples of whole blood, serum, plasma, and urine can be applied to the instrument. Step 1. Boot the instrument. 
turn on the power switch and G10 1600 will automatically start initialization. Main interface will display after one minute self-check. On top of the main interface shows the following labels Sample Detection Query System Setting and About. In Sample Rack section on the middle of the left side has six buttons labeled with Arabic numbers. It indicates that the strip holder is in position when the button is in blue. The gray color indicates that either there is no strip holder or the holder is not properly inserted. In test card section, the bars underneath each button shows the name of a test and the numbers of remaining unmeasured cartridges. On the middle of the bottom of the touchscreen has three operation keys, start, pause, and stop. On the right side of the touchscreen are sample barcodes and numbers of remaining consumable supplies. The information should be confirmed after the consumables are replaced. The empty rectangle bar next to the operation keys is for error display. Weekly operational error information will be automatically shown in the bar. Click to trace error details. It is recommended to wash pipeline before daily use for good performance. Click Pipeline Washing in the System Setting Interface to do the cleaning. Repeat the process three times after the replacement of cleaning liquid. Step 2. Install reagents and consumables. Place tip head, mixing plate, and diluent in the consumable location area. When inserting the tip, make sure the gap corresponds to cylinder. Insert the strip holder following the directions of the arrow and push it into the bottom. Meanwhile, confirm the information of the item and quantity on the screen. The instrument will alarm if the supply runs out. Click the corresponding area and supply the consumables according to the alarm. Step 3. Filling Sample Remove the tube cover. Place samples into the holder and insert sample holders into the chamber at a constant speed while sample barcode being scanned by the built-in barcode scanner. At this time, green light on the corresponding track will turn on. The information will be displayed on the screen. Anything missed of samples can be edited by clicking the pen icon. Mix the sample before opening the lid if it's whole blood sample. Step 4. Set testing items. Test item. CRP. Sample type. Whole blood. Sample ID. Sample IDs are continuous numbers and only need to be set once. Sampling mode. Whole row sample loading 8 samples can be used when all 8 samples in one holder are ready for testing. Continuous sample loading can be used when sample size in one holder is less than 8. Emergency mode. Mainly for urgent or special samples. Finish the settings before testing. Check the samples on the screen. Dots represent corresponding samples will change from gray to green. After sample arrangement completion, click Detect to start a detection. Green means to be tested. Yellow means position taken. Red means process end. Step 5. Result Query Testing results will be shown in query mode with the newest results on top. Four query modes, date, NO, ID, and barcode can be chosen to check historical results.
Part 4 QC Calibration Users can perform quality control testing in QC interface. 1. Avoid repeated freeze-thaw cycles. 2. Dissolve quality control product softly and do not move the bottle unsteadily. 3. Use quality control products within validity period. Redissolve the liquid after opening the seal. Cover the lid and store the bottle in refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees after testing. The instrument will scan corresponding barcode, which contains detailed information of the controls. Please check the information and click Start QC to do the calibration automatically.